Tell me a little bit more about that, Maggie. Was that a conscious decision on your part to have female department heads, a female DP, a female editor? And, and what do you think it did for the movie to make those decisions? Kind of only because I'm like a hugely collaborative person. Like I like to collaborate a lot with people. And the movie was meant to be from such a distinctly like female point of view. Like when I was growing up, like my favorite director was like Jane Campion. Like I like like super, super like female point of view kind of stuff. And um, I rely so heavily on my DP, who's a woman. Her name is Kat Westergaard. She shoots so female. Like she shoots from such a feminine perspective. If you really, really look at what she's doing, it's very specifically female. Um, I rely so much on the actors for a female perspective. I mean, it's like, it's only like, it's one point of view in like a million movies that'll come out this year. Like there, you know, like everybody, everybody can have a different point of view, but like this was a story that like seemed, I would, I actually like, it's funny cause I remember reading, like I love Anne Rand and Anne Rand is described as somebody who can write male characters like as if she was a man, like the Fountainhead is written like, like that. Howard Rourke character is like, how did that woman write a man from a man's perspective? I could never do that. Like, I've, I have no interest in doing it. It's like, not my thing. Not comparing myself to Anne Rand, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I'm like, well, well, the reason why I don't write the Fountainhead is because, no, I'm just kidding. But I mean, like, the point is that, like, I'm, I, I don't have anything else to draw from. Like, I'm mm -hmm. just, like, sort of, like, really interested in, like, sort of, like, a feminine point of view and I'm super collaborative so so like having other women to like bounce and I'm not saying that it wouldn't work as well with men but it was like this environment for this movie the the sort of conversations about like female sexuality and uh, all the kind of stuff that's going on is like was best served with an almost entirely female environment and I'm proud of it I'm so proud of it well it's certainly it's hard not to notice that there's a, a few scenes in the movie that you can imagine if a man was making this movie, they'd be essentially sort of trash non exploitation scenes and that you kind of you keep said that. We, and you you keep them in a much more kind of emotionally grounded place where there still is a certain sensuality to them, but they never kind of go to like that trashy place that you could imagine. Well, I'd rather, I'd rather like see it from the perspective of like if I was inside of it, like if it's a mm -hmm. masturbation scene, for example, like I'd rather see it from like how uncomfortable I feel doing that as opposed to like whatever the gaze is looking at it or like if there's nudity or if there's sexuality or something like that, I'd rather like think about it from like if I'm inside that, like if I'm in that moment and like I have discomfort about myself in that moment, it's a different perspective.